Uh, all right, right. Welcome back, everybody, to our YouTube channel, BTC TV, and we continue to do videos about blockchain events. Great and famous people in this space. Today, I'm happy to present you, Miko Masamura. Miko, thanks for coming to our TV show. Uh, we was like we met many times already. We made, I think, maybe already two or three interviews uh, during the last four years. And actually, it's been for a while that I haven't visit. I mean, I haven't seen you, right? Uh, so uh, last time we met maybe at Malta before COVID. So it's like three years ago, something like that. I lost, I, I lost counting. So uh, now, please, can you tell us what they are doing here? Why you came to the Poland to the Warsaw? Because we are right now in the Warsaw, in the capital of Poland. Why you came to this city? Absolutely. Uh, I think it's very important. I'm going to be giving a keynote this morning and we're going to be talking about blockchain mm -hmm. and a new model for uh, freedom, right? Yep. So it's a very interesting notion because obviously what we have is this incredible pressure between the idea of freedom being lawless and being about I do whatever I want mm -hmm. versus an idea of like we make the rules together, right? So there's these two polar opposite forms of freedom clashing in the world today. Mm -hmm. I see. It is a really uh, great one, especially freedom, because as you know, we are very close to the border to Ukraine, where is right now is war crisis with Russia. And right now, this perfect time when we need to speak about freedom. Yeah. Right? yeah. So I think that this idea of there are no rules, I do whatever I please, mm -hmm. this is sort of goes towards authoritarianism, right? And so the idea of freedom in blockchain is actually produced by this idea called fork it and go. Fork it and go, right? And the idea is is that we do make the rules together, right? So you know, if you have a blockchain, the rules are made by the people, but of course, if you want to express your individual freedom, you can fork any time and you can take the whole thing with you, everything with you, right? And anyone who wants to go with you is free to go with you, right? So, so it, it, blockchain produces a form of freedom that actually, it, you know, enables people to express both their individual rights, but also the rights of a group and a community. I see. Uh, I already mentioned that we seen each other like three years ago when Bitcoin was close, maybe five, six thousand dollars. Right now it is like forty thousand uh, dollars. At another hand, NFT uh, market like right now is booming. Can you tell us a little bit more about your opinion of especially on NFT uh, space and NFT market? Yes, absolutely. So uh, at the moment, so we're early stage investors okay. in OpenSea. Right, and we are seeing kind of the peak volumes uh, kind of coming off the peak, right? Mm -hmm. So NFT is definitely kind of like over the initial kind of peak, right? Mm -hmm. But we, we do see that it does have a long future. These are durable, lasting, essentially digitally immortal artifacts, right? So we definitely will see a resurgence, I think, in the future. And, you know, I do think that uh, you know, obviously NFT and blockchain are here to stay. I see. Uh, Miko, why you decided to go with OpenSea? Like, what was your criteria to, to invest with them, right? Absolutely. So for us, the most important thing is always the quality of entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and entrepreneurship. So, you know, we, our fund, GCC, looks mm -hmm. for these kind of what we call gummy corn mm -hmm. founders, right? Which are the, the people who can make it happen. So it's really all about the people. I see, I see, great. And uh, I, I believe that right now many NFT projects are coming to you and like knocking on your door, like, and, and then you're still looking on criteria that the most important is the team which can make this project happen to the end. Yeah, yeah. entrepreneurship, it turns out, is actually very, very difficult. It turns out that it requires very, very high conviction, which is belief in your mission, belief in yourself, because it, it is a rocky road. People think entrepreneurship is very easy, yeah. right? But it is long and difficult. So, you know, this ultra high conviction is something that we admire and we support. I see. Okay, uh, Miko, I will not take more your time because you need to prepare to your stage. Uh, we believe that we will record it as well, your speech over there. And maybe you wanted to say something to our audience, for example, maybe some tips uh, for investment, for example, or maybe some tips with selecting projects to pay close attention. Yeah. 
Yeah, so always pay attention to the team if it is a kind of an early stage project, right? And, you know, this sounds insane, but like, you know, buying low and selling high is generally a good idea. So, you know, I see a lot of people who are sort of like buying at the all-time frenzy, right? And Bitcoin, for example, is so kind, right? Because if you miss the last all-time high, it comes all the way back down for you, right? It comes all the way back down and says, oh, uh, here's another, even another chance for you to buy, right? And so, so you know, but most people are afraid, right? Yeah. Most people are like, oh, well, so I'm going to only buy when it's high, right? And then when it comes down, of course, everyone's terrified, so they won't buy, right? So to me, like, you, you should pr try to buy low and you should try to sell high. I know it sounds absurd, but, like, people amazingly aren't doing this. <laughs> uh, I agree with you. Plus, uh, then you need to remember about halving, you know? Every four years we have halving. That's why I believe also, like my opinion, that we in the future we will see more high prices for Bitcoin due to this. Yeah, and, and I think on the final note, like it, really the idea of quote unquote do your own research is so important because the research is what produces the conviction. The conviction is what enables you to hold when everyone else is screaming in panic, right? You're just so calm because you're like, I... I did the research, I looked into it, I understand it, I like it, I support it, and so I'm going to hold, right? So, you know, it, it's not, it's, if you really understand what you're doing, then you're very calm when everyone else is very fearful, and this, this will produce a great outcome for you. I see. All right, Miko, thanks a lot. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, BTC TV, and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you again. Thanks very much.